Squad for All Things Drumming. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the offset double bass pedals that I have on my drum kit. A while back I had uh, the Paradiddler.com sponsored a contest to win the offset double bass pedals. And I talked a little bit about the pedals in that video where I spoke about the contest and um, that video got a lot of negative feedback um, maybe because a lot of people didn't win it but I think they wanted to know a little more about the pedals themselves I did write an extensive review of the pedals which you can go to the paradiddler.com you can go to the reviews tab and there will be a link there to, um, that, to the article that reviews the offset double bass pedals and also, if you go to the article section at theparadiddler.com, you'll see a link to um, an interview I did with Charles Fisher, who's the creator of the pedals. Very insightful, educational, and um, you know Charles is quite an interesting guy, um, to say the least. But anyway, in this video, I just wanted to give a few views of my kit and how the pedal uh, affects how I arrange the toms on my kit and you'll at least see how it is that I feel that they're a comfortable pedal for me and maybe even for you too. So let's have a look at a few angles uh, of my kit and how the pedal configuration affects that. Okay, so I've pushed the camera back and if it sounds a little a little boomy, forgive me, um, I'm not using any external mic to connect it to the camera. I'm using the microphone that's built into the camera. But anyway, this is a full view of my kit. And um, I'll get another shot also much closer. But just so you can see how I'm sitting behind my kit. First of all, I have right here, you can see it. That is my right uh, pedal. And then over here is my left pedal, which is right next to my hi-hat stand. So the double bass pedals are set up in a way that allows me to sit directly behind my kit. I'm not offset to the left. Where normally you have double bass pedals where the right pedal is sitting right on the bass drum and the left pedal is over here. So that makes you move the snare over to the left and you also move your hi-hat over to the left. So Actually, everything moves to the left because now you have to accommodate your, your drum shells and your cymbals based on your position. And many are successful in doing that. Obviously, that's been forever where anybody uses double bass pedals. They just position their pedals and position their snare and toms you know, based on their position. But what I like about the double bass, the offset double bass pedal is actually the name is kind of a... I think it's a play on words, so to speak, because you're really offset when you're using the typical double bass pedal. The offset pedals actually onset you or set you back right behind your bass drum. So what it's doing, it's mimicking having two bass drums, one bass drum over here and one bass drum over here. And you'd have your two toms right in front of you and you'd have your snare drum right in front, run, right in front of you again. So that's what the offset pedals do. They mimic the, the double bass drum setup, and which allows you to put everything in a, like a circle right around you. That way, it allows you to position your cymbals and drums pretty much equilaterally all around you without moving you to the left. Or if you're a lefty drummer, moving you to the right. So now let's get another view of the pedals to see how they look and how they interact with the other equipment that's near it. Okay, so here's a top level view, kind of, of my drum kit from behind. As high as I can put my camera to the ceiling, my ceiling is not very high. But as you can see, uh, you have pretty much centered across the board. So here's my double bass pedal, here's the right pedal, and there's the left pedal and actually right and left side it is one pedal 
and you have the snare drum sitting right behind the bass drum and you have my main toms, that 10 inch and 12 inch tom right in front so there's a nice little symmetry going on here and a little off to the side here is my 8 inch tom with a cymbal right above it and as you can notice here I have my left pedal and my hi-hat you know close to each other as typically is with the hi-hat at a you know at a height that's comfortable comfortable for me so basically what I'm looking for and what the offset pedal does is that it centers me it gives me a feeling of you know, being right in the middle and everything just flows right around then you have the floor tom way over here and a couple other symbols hanging out to dry <laughs> to the right so that's what these pedals do um, they're very configurable I'll give you another view of them I had a question from a, uh, a viewer um, asking about if the beaters actually interfere with the snare stand and I'm gonna give you another shot of that and also you'll be able to see uh, a lot of the features that make these pedals very very configurable as a lot of the good a lot of good pedals are not to say that there, are, there aren't other good pedals but this option gives you the opportunity to feel like you're right behind the kit just like a, a drummer with two bass drums has so let's give you another angle now okay so here's another view of the bass pedals bass pedal double bass pedal on the bass drum and the hardware that surrounds it one of the questions that I had was if the beaters interfere at all with the snare stand and as you can see here here are the beaters and here's the snare stand way back here so they, they really never not even close they don't even touch each other and the snare stand is not anywhere near the mechanism of the pedal I do have the snare very close to the bass drum and the toms in front of it so nothing interferes it's all a matter of me making sure that my technique is good as far as playing on top of the shells and also uh, my bass pedal technique and so there's no no interference here so there's not a problem with that with the pedals being the way they are also if you have a hi-hat stand which yeah, you pretty much do um, the drive chain here doesn't touch at all the stand that it's next to as you can see when you press down it actually goes away from the stand so you can even with a three-legged stand as long as the the legs are s swivel legs you can easily configure the hi-hat stand to work nicely with the left bass pedal or right bass pedal these pedals allow any drummer lefty or righty to sit directly behind their kit which is another cool feature of these pedals many of the at least the top of the line bass pedals are very configurable as far as pedal height and beater distance from the head and that kind of thing these pedals are no exception to that they are very configurable and I'm not going to go into all of the nuts and bolts of that uh, you can read my review like I said and go to their website um, but for example here you can configure you can adjust the pedal independently of the beater so you, if you want if you like your pedal low you can adjust that separately from the pedal when you get that separately from the beater when you get that to the height you like you can go over to the beater and adjust that as close or as far as you like from the batter head without affecting the height of the pedal so they're independent of each other which is a really cool feature and each of the pedals has two strings two springs where you can adjust the tension uh, medium softer harder whatever you like and they're configurable that way also the drive rods that are in between you can expand them or make them closer or whatever however you prefer and the offset double the offset bass pedal company also 
has different size drive rods and not only that you can have custom size drive rods to suit you know this however you like you know whatever however you like to sit behind the kit as far as uh, separation of your feet to the right or to the left and you can pretty much get any size you like and another thing that's really cool about these pedals is that they're equilateral which means that they're both exactly the same they're configured exactly the same so actually they have the same configurable features on both sides so you can make each pedal feel exactly the same or you can make the right pedal feel softer than the left and vice versa so they're very flexible as far as tweaking them and getting them to the right feel it may take a while but you'll have very good results in the end and there you have it those are the offset pedals on my kit as I mentioned I like the feeling of centeredness behind the kit the fact that they're configurable in any sort of way uh, gives me a lot of flexibility as far as how they feel their placement and just the fact that I'm sitting smack dab behind my kit gives me a level of comfort that I don't get from the typical double bass pedal if you have more questions about the pedals themselves you can go to theparadilla.com like I've mentioned read the review read the interview with Charles Fisher and you can go to their website as well which there is a link to in the review as far as watching me play the pedals um, in a subsequent drum cover I'll be incorporating some images some video of the playing which really it comes down to not necessarily the pedal itself but the drummer your technique your practice and how you make those pedals feel when you're playing and for all of those that uh, gave thumbs down to the other video where I was offering the pedals in a contest not to worry if you subscribe to the paradigm.com you may just have another chance to win again I'm just saying this is the paradigm.com thanks for watching